Is Iphigenia a tragic hero? The question of whether or not Iphigenia can be considered a tragic hero is a complex one. In the play Iphigenia in Aulis by Euripides, Iphigenia finds herself in a difficult situation, where she must make a decision that will ultimately lead to her own death. This certainly fits the criteria of a tragic hero, as she is faced with a moral dilemma and ultimately needs a tragic end. However, there are also arguments to be made against Iphigenia being classified as a tragic hero. This article will examine both sides of the argument to determine whether or not Iphigenia can truly be considered a tragic hero. On one hand, Iphigenia's actions and decisions certainly fit the mold of a tragic hero. She finds herself in a position of great suffering, having been deceived by her own mother, Clytemnestra, and Agamemnon, her own father. In addition, Iphigenia's sense of duty and honor also align with the traits of a tragic hero. She understands the gravity of the situation and the importance of the Greek fleet's mission to Troy. However, there are also arguments to be made against Iphigenia being classified as a tragic hero. Some may argue that Iphigenia's agency and autonomy are limited in the play, as she is ultimately a pawn in the political machinations of the Greek leaders. Furthermore, some may argue that Iphigenia's ultimate decision to go willingly to her own death is not a result of her own internal struggle or moral conflict, but rather a resignation to her fate. In conclusion, the question of whether or not Iphigenia can be considered a tragic hero is a complex and nuanced one.